Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Keys and we're back playing Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice mod. We're playing as Hungry. Uh, where we stepped off, stopped off last time, we didn't even press the play button. Uh, we just got everything just organized within the country uh, to just start everything. We got our uh, diplomacy, production, technology, and everything all set up. We got all our ideas for the, the plans on what we want to do. We got our uh, intelligence and all that put in place and we are pretty much ready to go um, I'm gonna just hit the play button here we're gonna bring the speed up to about three and we're just gonna let it play out in the meantime what I'm gonna do is let me see here this Great Depression event we have Great Depression and I believe oh I gotta find it here strategic events we got the De Great Depression going on until 36 the end of this year I believe it is okay let's pause this presentation Hungary in the 1930s the Kingdom of Hungary relied on increased trade with fascist Italy Nazi Germany to pull itself out of the Great Depression Hungarian politicians and foreign policy had become increasingly pro-fascist Italian and pro-national socialist German because of this the partition of Hungary in accordance with the Treaty of Trianon dominated the political life of Hungary during the period between World War I and World War II. Prime Minister Gombos, is a wicked name, I think that will be the name of my firstborn child, Gombos, advocates for a number of social reforms, one party government and the revision of the Treaty of Trianon and Hungary's withdrawal from the League of Nations. Don't blame them, League of Nations was shit. It's just the way it was. Uh, he boasts that within two years he will have transformed, transformed Hungary into his own personal dictatorship. Nem Nem Soha. Oh, so the uh, the party gets five organization and five popularity. We gain 550 manpower and a thousand officers. Perfect. That is just wonderful. Uh, fascist military brigade, poorly armed and composed of politically indoctrinated volunteers from various nations. Factious militia play, units played a key role in the war behind the lines, fighting partisans and keeping the supply lines clear. These units are quick and cheap to raise with an added bullets, excuse me, of being good partisan fighters. Yeah, we'll activate that. Creation of battle commanders, great news. Uh, government secretary focus. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, if you ever played the, the Black Ice mod, you see this literally every year. And every time I play it, I always pick the first one because it gives you a national modifier. Or if two options, 60% chance of the national modif uh, manpower modifier with a hit to leadership modifier or just a leadership modifier of 2.5. Either way, you get a bonus from uh, either manpower or leadership. Regardless, both of those are good. So I'm going to do that. Uh, personality effects. Uh, this only happens once at the beginning of the game, so yes, we're going to do that. And let's start it up again. Let it do its thing. Okay, so... Okay. Well, that's nice. That brings it down. So this gives us a little bit of extra industrial capacity so I can start building stuff. I'm not going to build units right off the bat, actually. Oh, right here. Engine type. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to do light aircraft, gasoline engine, welded armor. Supply through, through, throughput 2.5 uh, with a heart attack bonus. So, yes, so that's what I want to do. It makes the build speed a little bit worse, but whatever. Do I want Revolt's last playthrough? I said no, this playthrough... I'm going to give it a shot. It's going to give me a, a little more to work with partisans and militia that I didn't have before. Uh, or police units and militia that I didn't use in the last one. Allowing scripted invasion. Um, I don't want scripted invasions. Mostly because scripted invasion makes it so that, you know, on certain days you know that Japan, you know, Pearl Harbor is going to happen. You know that D-Day is going to happen on those certain dates. You know that the invasion of Africa is going to work a certain way. Um, scripted invasions are just kind of 
box things in and uh, you know there you got the historic rel restore historical relevance of it however i don't think that's what i'm after in this playthrough i want it to be straight up you know as sandboxy as we can get it so i'm gonna disable invasions and we're just gonna do it how it is so what we want here oh look at all this added stuff that they added wow whoa we wow these were not in the previous version so what we got here shipyards beach fences armor factories tank factories so armor factories it looks like the building of troops tanks for tanks uh, steel refinery coal mine rares extraction oil rig yeah I will build an oil rig hell yeah let's look at resource modifier let's build an oil rig there too and an oil rig there as well hell yeah I say uh, industrial capacity we want to build some of that I see what they're doing here they're making it so Okay, we can do an oil rig there as well. Let's build some industrial capacity there. Let's build some industrial capacity there. Cool. They really added some stuff. And then you got oil refineries, manufacturing plants, urban expansion, uh, training bases, research centers, base hospitals, police centers. Wow, these are really cool. Really, really cool. Um, however, oil rigs, we're actually going to bring that up a little bit more. Because I think, let's do industrial capacity as higher. Because I, th I have a feeling that industrial capacity is actually a little more important than oil at this stage. More research possible. That's great. Let's add more. Uh, not air. We need to focus on. Yes, engineer. Absolutely. That's okay. Gasoline engines. Yeah, let's take that. Let's take a look here. What else can we add? I think we need to look at airport capabilities. Absolutely. Let's look at industry. I think there's a lot more industry op opportunities that we didn't have before. Um, Industrial production, let's take that one, absolutely. Uh, let's do those as well, because why not? And let's also do that. Let's supply through organization. Let's do civil defense. not worry about that yet uh, there's a lot of things that I'm kind of looking at here there's so much to, and and hungry it seems like has no like literally no training in anything anything at all nothing so uh, it makes uh, choosing what we want yeah let's do a guns choosing what we want to be rather a daunting task in a lot of ways <sighs> direct fire yeah let's do direct fire train that stuff like anti-tanks and things of those nature that's always important uh, defensiveness yeah let's take that as well superior strength oh Oh, I know what that is. No, we don't need that yet. P 
political indoctrination. Oh, I see. Interesting. You get attrition. I see what that is. Okay. Um, not yet. Let's do grand battle plan as well. So there we go. We got a lot there now. We're good for a little while, I believe. Industrial zone. Industrial zone. So it looks like they changed the resources around a bit. Okay. What I want to do now is look at our intelligence here. So let's do diplomacy. And let's look at of course Europe. Let's look at Czechoslovakia. So our current neutrality is uh, 4964. And let's see what it looks like when it goes down. Like every, what kind of change we're getting every day. So we're getting 0 0.02 every day currently. Okay. Probably because we don't have a whole lot of spies yet. I might actually need to pump a little more into espionage. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Because we want to get that neutrality down as quickly as possible. In fact, quicker than quicker than we can ever deem possible. Because the faster that we take out stuff like Czechos or uh, Austria and Czechoslovakia, what that ha what happens then is it makes Germany weaker, right? If we can take out Austria and Czechoslovakia, this opens up this entire southern area to us. It, you know, Poland we probably can't go after, but you know those two. If we can, cool. That makes all, it all the better. Um, I don't know if that's going to put a big bullseye on our head for Germany. Like, I don't know if Germany is just going to be like, well, we're going to come after you because of this. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let's take a look here. You guys, you got three divisions. So let's move. Let's get everything just even mildly organized here. You, I got several divisions. We're gonna move you there. Right, like so. While the rest of you stay. I haven't taken a look what armor trains do yet, but I have armor trains and okay. Uh we got uh, we're going to move these guys over here. We got these guys. We're going to move them up there. And we got these guys. And we're going to move them right here. This cavalry. To be honest, these these units are kind of set up like shit. Um, we also need we need a guy for here. Combine arms bonus and experience bonus of 15%. Why not? Actually, no. Screw that. We're gonna put that guy right in charge of the entire stinking army. I think. Actually, no. Logistics wizard and old guard. Oh, they changed old guard. Used to have a, just a digging bonus and I think an experience bonus, but they changed it. So it's offense minus 10, attack speed minus 10, experience gain minus 10. But you get experience bonus of plus 5%. So experience gain is down, but the bonus is up. Offense minus 10, attack speed. So this is really good. He's really good for a defensive. 
group. Well, we don't want him on defensive. We want this gentleman right here. General and yes, we want you. Oh, so we got the stacking. We got a combined arms bonuses twice to our troops. That is impressive, is what that is. Okay, let's take a look here. What the hell does this do? It doesn't tell me shit. Oh, game just crashed. Uh, well, obviously this is going to be the end of this little video. Uh, very, very short. The game has uh, crashed on me, the desktop. So I'm going to end this video here, and we're going to start up again right after this. Uh, however, I might have missed the save. Well, at the last, the last autosaver is where we're going to start up. So, uh, thank you ever, everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope you really enjoyed how, kind of how I'm changing up the, the playthrough. Um, if you like this, this video, please hit the like button. If you like all my videos, please subscribe. And if you have any comments on, uh, like, what the hell an armored train does, please put it in the comment section below. Or, like, um those troop transports I think they are obviously about supplies but if there's something else please let me know in the comment section below thank you all for watching and we're gonna see you next time until then keys out